All right, people, Critsaders, we are back to, to, to trial run more 5th edition. Yeah. When last we left our protagonist characters, um, you guys uh, had managed to uh, be falsely accused of a crime, uh, be required to go on a quest to redeem yourself from said false accusation, and you found the actual people responsible. Though you have decided that you are going that uh, you are going to go and uh, complete the quest that you have sworn to complete anyway. Yep. Mainly, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Would rather stay alive. <laughs> and also because you have a paladin in the party. That too. Weird when the paladin is more, you know, than the cleric. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Well, I guess I am the one that decided to play a chaotic good cleric. Yeah. Of Saloon, which I'm pretty sure she's a chaotic good deity. Yeah. Yep, she is. I picked her specifically because of that. I'm sorry, Saloon? Salune. Ah. (laughs) She is a moon goddess. Yes. Sorry. I I automatically abbreviated it. (laughs) There are. Not a goddess of. Relaxing over a, an alcoholic drink, yeah. perhaps with the fist fight involved. No, that's Caden Kalian. Oh, oh fine, yeah. Although and that's I met, Pathfinder. I met as a. Uh, oh, they're both part of the life domain. Okay. Yep. Uh, I made sure to pick one that was life domain. Okay. Also. I'm about to sneeze. One second. Woo! Okay, that was a powerful one. Bless you. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, you should have heard me for a while. seconds ago. I, I muted it and I just sneezed like 50 decibels. It was stupid. All right. Uh, Caleb stop. heard it. All right. So you guys uh, in the quest that you have been assigned to have to continue to escort a, uh, a small child by the name of Toad uh, to the city of uh, Bredia in the kingdom Um in the realm of souls, as the land is known, uh, which is pretty much okay with undead people. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this yet, but it depends on what exactly they're doing with the undead people. (sighs) Chaotic good. (laughs) Anyway. So, (laughs) uh, you guys unless you say otherwise, uh, continue on, on your way, uh, until, yeah. until nightfall, uh, which point Toad on my shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at which point you make, uh, you make camp. Okay, cool. Awesome. We make camp. It is true. Camp is made. Camp is made. Right. Made is camp. Um, what, uh, what is the watch order? Well, I have dark vision, so I should probably take the darkest times. So I should probably take second watch. I do not have dark vision or low light. All right. So who who's on? So then who is on first and who is on third? Uh, no, who's on first? You just said. <laughs> Caleb, no. The funny thing was, as soon as you said that, I was like, Caleb's about to make a who's on first reference. <laughs> I believe I believe the, the the thing, the proper response would have been, right, who's on first? And, um, What's on uh, second? Right, no, no, you go, who's on first? I don't know is third. Ah, uh, yes, true. <laughs> uh, I'll be, I don't know. <laughs> you. I'm gonna murder all of you. You, you minx, you. All right. Uh, in that case, then, since you are on third watch, I will need a perception check from you, Haley. Oh, from me? Yes. Oh, oh, really? Yes. Because you're first. Your perception's probably better than mine. I'm third. Okay, yes. Um, perception is a plus four. Oh, oh my goodness! I don't have this character sheet open. 
Lol. <laughs> it is better than mine. Hooray! Perception, not persuasion. What does it say? <laughs> okay! Just, just go ahead and start off the night that way. Oh my gosh, what it- she, No, why would you waste that on a, on a perception check? Stop I didn't it. No, mean to. I don't, I don't know if waste is the right right. Okay, cool. So, uh, with a 20 then. I know all of the thing. Oh my gosh, I see. Uh, before... Yeah, okay, with a 20, I'm gonna give you th this to you. Before it even happens, uh, you notice, um... Uh, a creature uh, beginning to creep towards uh, where Toad is sleeping. Okay, so um, I would have had my uh, bow out. Um, how f how far away does it look? How far does your bow go to? I am finding that out. You might want to scream or something as you do this. I will, I will, don't worry. I'm just trying to figure this out quickly. Um, oh yeah, this is a different sheet. Like, I thought for sure I had it written down somewhere. It is a short bow. Is that it? No, that's the cost. <coughs> Range, 80 feet. Oh yeah, so within 80 feet. Cool! I'ma try to shoot it. Whilst screaming. Well, yeah, while shouting for the others to wake up. Where's my button? Here it is. Wait, no. It's not a button. Grr! Here it is. Is that the button that just lets you know? Oh, Alright, well, you're- I'm gonna shout. <laughs> Company! All right, your shot goes wild, but that's okay. It even if it just frightens it. Okay, uh, I'll hug the map. So, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's within. It's uh, let's put it there then. I don't know why I'm bothering to do that. I just oh my. Let's, let's fix this. How much health do I have now? I now have 15 Dang it, we're, okay, we're rolling oh crits on all the wrong rolls. We are terrible rolls. guardians. Okay. We are terrible oh. guardians. Toad is at the edge of camp, away from all of us. That's what, is what this? I was looking at. <laughs> we are terrible guardians. Terrible, terrible. Oh, I right. look at my token. I roll initiative. My initiative. Oh, I, uh, I just realized I have this calm and soothing music on. I need to change that. Oh. Yeah. So do I. I guess I should change it, too. Excuse uh, me. No. It's uh, my... <laughs> um, my current character sheet. What kind of music do I want? That is, which music do I want? Ooh! No, no! Well then. I, I, will, I will just state this, because you guys have had problems with these. 5th uh, edition mm -hmm. Will-O-Wisps are different than Pathfinder Will-O-Wisps. Thank Good. God. <laughs> like, they are actually much closer. Are to be level two characters? Here's a CR9. Uh, um, <laughs> 5e Will-O-Wisps are actually much closer to the actual legend of the Will-O-Wisp. Okay. All right, so I just need Robin to put her initiative in. But I, I rolled it. You took it away. Oh, oh yeah. no, sorry. There's just two of you, so... It was on oh, the Oh, no, no, it's gone. I'm gone. <laughs> no, I'm just gone. Oh. I totally rolled it. It 
It's there. I, I'm not... I don't see it. You're I entered my initiative and now it's not there. I see you on the turn order, so... Uh, I do I, not see her. I don't... I wonder what happened. Hmm. All right, well... There. Okay, thank you. Yay. All right, um... Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Uh, so uh, with the uh, with the with the yell, um, uh, <laughs> give give me give me a perception check to to see if you if you are awoken, Nordic. Okay. Uh, uh, also, since you are asleep, you have disadvantage. Okay. But you only need to get a five, so you know. What's the matter? I think he's just trying to find changing perception. My... In your character, I'm changing my character. I'm changing my D20, my roll 20 character sheet so it actually reflects my stats properly. Ah. All right, you are, you're awake. Okay. Oh, yes, you are very awake. Okay, so. Um. Uh. So just as a reminder, you prob you do not sleep, you probably were not sleeping in your armor, so just remember that. That's extraordinarily uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Pinch myself in chainmail yeah. all yeah. night. Yeah, I mean, Haley, you probably had, your character probably had it on because she was on watch, but the two characters who were asleep. Right. Were, as a soldier, I probably have my weapons right next to my bed, so I'm going to grab my crossbow and, and bolts and, <laughs> and head out the tent. All right, so that is what you spend your turn doing. Uh, how long does it actually take to put armor on, just in case you want to do it? Mm -hmm. It takes... Uh, what have I got? Full chain mail? Um, ooh, that's, uh... Getting in and out of armor. Uh, Dawn. Okay, so if you are to... I, I don't think you have time, but just, just for the sake of knowing it. So, light armor takes you a minute to dawn. Medium armor takes you five minutes. And har heavy armor takes you ten minutes. Okay, okay. if I have 600 rounds, I think I... <laughs> So for pr purposes of this, my armor class is nine, then. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> uh, I didn't actually know this. Apparently, the term for taking off your armor is to doff it. Oh, interesting. Doffy. I doff my armor. From Muppet Classic Theater. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that is how you spend your turn. Uh, the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, is... How much can he move? Yeah. Um... Right, I'm going to say he was farther off than this, uh, and that he has to spend his whole turn moving towards you. He was just farther off the map. I just... Uh, unless Actually, you roll insane perception, uh, different things are supposed to happen. So, uh, just as a fair warning, um, I'm, this is quicksand. Uh, I'm sorry, what's quicksand? Where? Over the, the sand? sand bit. The, yeah, the, the sand. The part that is sand. Which... I mean, would make sense for you guys to to use it as a as like a natural barrier because then you only had to watch from three directions, like this was basically safe. So, but so it spends That's its turn true. moving towards you, and then it's gonna take the dodge action. Mm -hmm. It is then it is then Sela's turn. Oh, also the map is correct in case you need, want to use the measurement tool. Awesome. Yay! Can they move? We can! I was going to say, I just, I just copy and pasted your tokens over, so... Oh, I mean, like, uh, does this mean we can move across the grid? <laughs> ah, yes. I'm going to put away my bow and draw my rapier for my turn. Okay. 
Because I and I'm going to. Am I? No, I'm not able to move now. Am I? No, you can move. You just can't oh, take an action. Okay. Gonna move. Well, I guess probably yeah, here. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lahira, give me a perception check. Okay. You are you were asleep, so it is also at disadvantage. You're fine. You just need to get a five. All right. Okay. All right, so I wake up, I see Wisp, and I'm like, oh, crap. And I immediately turn to Toad. I scoop him up in one of my arms. Like, like, under, like, he's, how old is he? Four? Four, yeah. Yeah, I could scoop him under one arm. Okay. And I'm going to head in the opposite <laughs> direction. I don't know. There were some pretty dense four-year-olds. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to head over here with Toad behind right. the tree. All right. Cool. Uh, also, for the for the sake of convenience, uh, um, I'm going to say <laughs> that, uh, fortunately, the two spellcasters uh, got the equivalent of uh, a long rest completed. So everyone is at okay, full yay. stuff. So just so we, we are aware. I will okay. So I'm yeah. So I'm down here. So I'm carrying Toad with me. Yes, I will give you control. You can. I start. assumed. Yeah, I, I assumed. Okay, thank you. I I just assumed picking him up would be like a standard, and me holding like. Yeah, so you can move him. half your speed away, so you can move up to fifteen feet. From where okay, you are. Okay, so I'll move like. Let me let me see. Yeah, I'll move like like yay. Okay, you should be able right, to. So to, I just to, to move there for no yeah. reason. So I'll move behind uh, Nurek. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. Uh, Yorick, it's your turn. All right. I'm going to uh, load a crossbow bolt and fire. Cool. <laughs> because that's what I have in my hands, and not my sword. Oh, okay. um, so. if those people who have religion would like to roll it, yeah, you can, can go that. ahead and do that for free. Just to see what you would know about Will O Wisps. Uh, Robin, you know that they are in fact undead creatures in this universe. Okay. Oh. Yes. Also, they're like Japanese Will O Wisps. Uh, no, they're like actual Will O Wisps. Actual okay. actual Will O Wisps are supposed to be undead creatures. It's just Pathfinder is like, no, they're. They're extra planar. I'm like, that's not how will o wisps the work. Life would be will o wisps so much easier for a certain party if they were undead. Uh, will <laughs> uh, note, I cannot make these actually. Actually, wait. If I take it and I go, is drawing, and then go it. Uh, so will o wisps are actually tiny creatures. So oh, this is a oh, disadvantage. Great. So they're even harder to hit. Great. Nope. This is just normal. All right. Uh, so I will not bother to roll twice, then. <laughs> I say, this music is far too intimidating for a fight. Yes. So Will-O-Wisps, uh, I, I don't know, I, I don't have the lore, the five, the Dungeons and Dragons lore in front of me, but, uh, um, uh, they're actually the, uh, the souls of small children who have died by drowning in, oh. uh, either bogs or quicksand. Is the that actual is very specific. The actual uh eighteen. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes, this would be a disadvantage. I'm sorry. I. Ah, okay. Let's I I, one. I thought you were asking for a religion check. Well, darn it. <laughs> okay, disadvantage. Oh. I, get, I get an eighteen. Okay, uh, it has an AC of nineteen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is. It is the will of <sighs> its turn. It is gonna move forward to the closest thing it can attack. Great. It's going to do its attack. I think I'm a little too used to being the tank now. Well, cur means. well, currently you're the tankiest thing here because you're the only one that's wearing armor. I was going to say, <laughs> you, you, you noticed something that was invisible, so. Oh, that's true. Good job. Uh, 18 to Ooh, hit? Yeah, that hits, yeah. Okay, so... Excuse me. Oh, I just realized my attack. Uh, Thirteen know, damage. Right now. Thirteen. Oh. As you are, as it shocks you with electricity. No kidding! Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm almost down. Right. 
so? Well, we can do our, our normal... No, we can't, because our stuff's on the ground. We can't okay. run. Uh. Um, I mean, I could run. I mean, you could run, yeah. <laughs> um... Goodness, this is a lot. Am I able to stealth right now? It... Um... I'm gonna go well, look up dark. those. I'm gonna go look up those rules. I think so. My installation, from what I remember, the rules is you should be able to, but I will double check the rules, because there are rules for when you can and cannot stealth. I also, mean, I would imagine you have to disengage first. Yeah. Well, as as a second level rogue, uh, Haley gets a gets bonus actions to either dash, disengage, or hide. Sweet. Sweet. So she can disengage and hide, Sweet. or disengage nice. and dash. Yeah, she gets basically. Yeah, it's, it's cool things. It's it's what the rogues do. They they cool. do their thing. All right. Um. Da, 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 da. When and when can you not hide? Where are those rules? I'm looking them up now. This is my looking up song, as I try to find <laughs> them in the rule book. Uh, the GM decides when circumstances are appropriate for a hide check. Uh, when you try to hide, make a dexterity stealth check until you are discovered or until you stop hiding. The check's total is contested by a wisdom perception check of any creature that actively searches for you or for signs of your presence. So, yes, you would have to disengage and move away from it, but it is dark enough that I would allow you to make a stealth check. Cool. I'm going to disengage. What does it take to disengage? That is an action. So. An action. So, disengage means that you will not cause any attack of opportunities. But you can, and oh, you can still, and you can still move up to your full speed. Okay, cool. So, so you would have to move behind the tree, I'll say. And then you could take a stealth check. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll disengage. All right. So that is so you, as a bonus you can so as a bonus action you disengage. So yes. then you can move. I move back here. Okay. All right, and then you have to beat That's... its passive perception. So you'll have to make a stealth check. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> okay. So yes. So you are you are you are now hidden from it. I'm glad that I put away my bow instead of dropping it now. All right. Uh, Lahira. Oh, okay. So Lahira is going to cast. I, I, I will give you a bit of hint. I would not use something that target that, that targets decks. I don't think. I think most yeah okay so i'm gonna use guiding bolt because that's an attack roll okay um uh um yes it does also have gonna... yeah they do also have it does have good ac it's what it, it's one of its that's the main thing so okay. it has good ac because it has good decks just... okay let me just <coughs> look at secret flame for a second Oh, I'm not gonna. Robin's getting upset. Whatever, guiding bolt, do it. Nope. That that is a miss. All right. Uh, Wait, hang on. I'm gonna also move behind the tree now because I can do that. That's fine. I'm cast this spell and then I'm gonna go one, two, th three. Okay. Uh, Norjik? <laughs> okay. Alright, gonna go back inside the tent, drop the crossbow, pick up great sword. <laughs> cool, that's a turn. Uh, I can't do the rest of my movement? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just didn't say it, so I was like, oh, okay. Um... Just move, yeah. And I'll just take up movement here, and hmm, 
How much health does your this character actually, actually this have? Actually, this was actually the worst spell I could have prepared. Hold on, I need... <laughs> Why did I prepare that? I don't have materials. Um... Well, you're a divine spellcaster, so your material is your, your divine holy symbol, I thought. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's true. Um, in that case, I'll use a bonus action to cast a uh, shield of faith on myself. Ooh, cool. I didn't know you got those as bonus actions. I get shield of faith and wrathful smite as bonus actions. <laughs> that is fun times. Shield Especially for this situation. Yeah. Uh, if, we don't, if, I, if, if I had armor. <laughs> That's more just a desperation. Maybe he'll roll a two. That's fair. What's your actual health? Uh, my actual health is a 22. I'm not, I am pretty tanky. Okay. I'm just going to fix it on your sheet real quick. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was... Caleb, my HP is 15. Feel good about yourself. Alright, uh, well, unfortunately, oh, you are... I specifically gave myself a lot of hit points. What is that? Well, unfortunately, you are the only, um, creature with which the Will-O-Wisp is currently aware of, so it's gonna try and attack you. As soon as I unequip my chain mail, hold on. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's only... Uh, seven! Aha! <laughs> okay. Who needs chain He, uh, he missed. <laughs> Uh, Celia? Sila, yep. I'm going to fix this. I will now spend around equipping and une uh, unequipping my bow, and I mean unequipping, I'm getting my bow out. Okay, you're you're putting your rapier away to redraw your bow. Yes, that. Cool. Ooh, I know. All right, cool. Uh, do you want to move it all? Um, nope, I'm good here. Okay. Uh, Do I have to give another stealth roll or no? Nope. No, just once you... Yeah, once you beat their passive perception, they have to actively look for you, and then they make a stealth roll. They make a perception roll against your passive stealth. Okay. Or I think this... I actually, I think it's the... Actually, I think it's whatever you rolled for your stealth check. So. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take a quick look at that. Uh, Lahira. I'm gonna waste all my spell slots. Um, so I, I, I will say this: uh, if you have a cantrip attack spell, you. I do, but it targets Dex. Yes, but what I'm about to say is, uh, you can then, as far as I understand the rules, uh, you can take the aid, uh, the aid action, to, basically, like throw it in a way to make it dodge, so that Norgic will have advantage to attack it. Ooh. I, uh, I'll do that. So, what do I do? Do I you just, roll you just, it and no, then... You just, you just tell me that's what you're doing. You're purposely... Okay, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, you're purposely, like, going, like, ha! So it moves out of the way, and then Nordic's like, ha ha, I can take advantage of this. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Literally. It, it's then Nordic's turn. So you get a roll with advantage. Okay. Uh, first, you said I can pretty much move... I can use my complete movement no matter what happens where, right? Yep. Yep. You can you can literally, if you have, I've, like, the fighters get bonus attacks, you can literally attack, you can literally have moved, attack, and then move in between your bonus attacks. Hmm. All right. Uh, moving away or... Uh, casting will cause attacks of opportunity, so I'll just tank it. Um, um, okay, so just moving causes that, and that is only if you move outside of its reach. Um, right. and so you can strafe around it if yeah, you so please. Casting a spell does not cause an attack of opportunity. Um, oh, okay. It's, well, okay, you I guess merely that does get, make sense for here since it's only a verbal spell. Uh, you merely have disadvantage to the to whatever roll you have to make for it. You have to make for it if it has an attack roll. If it's a, if it's a ranged spell, that's the only time. It's wrathful smite. Okay. Uh, which I don't know. So could you press? Let me let me go bring that up in the compendium. Here I can read. Yeah, I'll read it. Uh, the, it's a bonus action to myself. Vocal verbal components. For one minute, uh, the next time I hit with a melee weapon attack during the duration, it deals an extra d6 of psychic damage. 
And if the target is a creature, it must make a wisdom saving throw or be frightened of you until the spell ends. Ooh, cool. As an action, the creature can make a wisdom check against the spell save DC to steal its resolve and end that spell. All right, cool. So I'm going to use that, and uh, that's both that's both my slots, unfortunately. Uh, uh, yeah, I, yeah. Thinking about it, suddenly it's like actually this would be the spell that least invokes attack because I'm literally just shouting. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'd make this... Da -da, da -da. Um, and this will be at a... If, uh, with any luck, uh, this will all be correctly statted out on my character sheet. <laughs> and I don't have to change it. Should just be strike plus proficient... Plus your proficiency. Well, yeah... Yeah, no, it's just since I changed a couple of things, some of the statistics are off, and I was hoping... That's fair. Uh, so heavy crossbow was one less. Uh, a great sword, however, is fine, so let's roll it. Ah! You have advantage! That is true. So that is a 22. Yay! You're feeling 22. Uh <laughs> I swear, if you sing that to me after August... Well, now I'm definitely going to do it. Um... <laughs> So that is a hit. This has been my dread for this All year. Right, so that's the damage. Sweet. And then he makes a will save. Alright, well, it's 12 damage. Uh, and okay, so no, just... Hold on. Hold on. Wait, let me, uh, let me read that spell again. Because uh, I think I might have done something confusing. Uh, da, 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 da. No, he takes the extra damage anyway, so I'll roll another d6. Um, one psychic damage. Yay. Um, that's some, I wish that would have been to my greatsword damage because uh, I can re-roll that. Yes, yes you can. Um, addition to target. Okay, he must make a wisdom save or be frightened, just for the sake that everyone knows what frightened means. So the frightened condition in 5e means a frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of his... I can re-roll that. Because of the wording of the spell and the feature... Because I can reroll a one or a two on damage dice with melee weapons wielded with two hands. Now, if I go to Wrathful Smite, what it says directly is your attack deals an extra 1d6 psychic damage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll accept it. All right, so just so everyone knows what Frightened does, a Frightened creature has disadvantage on all ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. A creature okay. cannot willingly move closer to its source of fear. Ah, okay. All right, so you said it's a wisdom save? Yeah, it's a wisdom. And save what is your source. spell DC? Uh, spell DC is a 12. It's not that scary, but it, I figured I'd at least give it a try. Well, he got an 8. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, we'll go with that simple. So he is frightened of you. Okay. Uh, so. Team damage and scared of me. <laughs> All right, uh, so it is going to move away. Is it? Yay. Uh, it, it is fine. So it's actually, it's going to disengage. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, and then it's just, it's bolting. All right, I'll, I'll let it. Okay, yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, Sila, would you, do you want to take a last shot at it? Yeah, take no, a last shot. No, I'd rather it just run away. I'm afraid... I don't know how will o' the wisps work, so I don't know if trying to oh. attack it would make it angry and try to target me instead. Well, the thing is, you're in. If it were to move closer to you, it would be willingly moving closer to Nyoric, and because of the way the spells worded, it can't do that. So you can probably uh, take a pot shot at it. Yes, okay. you you can. Well, it's, it's not the spell, but it's how song. it's how <gasps> it's how the frightened it, condition works. Yeah, it's how frightened condition. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I may as well shoot at it then. <laughs> All right, so you do have advantage to this because you are stealthed. Yay. Whoopt! <laughs> well, that paid off. <laughs> All right, so you hit, so go ahead and roll damage. Switch these rolls! 1d6, I think. Sorry, I went Let me to double check something. Yeah, 1d6 plus 3 piercing. 1d6. All right, so actually, that plus. would, yeah, that would have been only. There we go. 
All right. Uh, bu 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 bu. One second. I have to recalculate its health because I missed something. All right. So, uh -huh. damage. So, so total damage. What? Um. Bu bu. Okay. So yep. Yeah, so that could happen. Uh. But, okay, so then psychic is all right. So then you dealt five more psychic damage, which happens, and then you shot it with the bow, which deals three more damage. All right, uh, Lahira. Um. Um. I don't feel like wasting another spell slot, so I'm just gonna. I guess take a dodge action. <laughs> that, that's fell. All right, uh, Norjik. To move up. Actually, no, he's going to. Yeah, where was I here? Uh, you were here. I think. One, two, oh, we'll three, say here. four. Right there. Yeah, we'll say two, three. three right there. Four, five, six, and I will use. Can I use Lay on Hands in battle? Uh, I believe so. Let's see. Da, 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 I believe da, da, it says da, da, as, as an action. action. You can touch a creature. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, Haley. Yes. Can you see me? Uh, I believe by the way that it's worded, you can you can reveal yourself to whoever you wish. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, plus he's right. You did just shoot an arrow. That is also a true statement about the Haley. It is. This is in Skyrim. Yeah. Don't you want 10 hit points? Yes, I do. Oh, hey, you're right there. Sorry, I was doing a thing. Ah, okay. Yes, I will, I will, I will... You knew that I went into the tree. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll uh, wave or something to show you that I'm here. Did you say 10? Yes. Blink, 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 blink. <laughs> Got pretty hefty hits. <laughs> yes, I did. I certainly did. All right. You have to. It is the it is the Willow West turn. Uh, is it just ten, or is do you have to roll for it? No, no, it's just ten. What it is is I have ten hit points worth of lay on hands, and I can just give them to people as I touch as I use it. Or I can use five hit points of it to cure a disease or neutralize a poison. Oh, interesting. All right. Um, the will o wisp is just gonna gonna pure on book it and just 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 try and it's it moves and then it dashes to just keep on getting away from Nordrick as fast as possible. All right. I'm okay with this. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so I'm uh, just assuming that you pick up and move your camp slightly somewhere else. Uh, that is the end of combat. <sighs> Yeah. Get away guys, from the sand pit. You guys managed to yeah. hurt it pretty bad. And... We actually did the campaign okay. We used advantage. We used our abilities. Yeah, I almost died. Great time. Uh, Great time. All right. Uh, so then everyone gets 175 XP. Yay! Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh. That's for you guys. You can have that. It's a tasty treat for you. Yeah. The the XP? <laughs> yeah. Oh no no no. Um, I got a cheese yeah, sauce at Chick Fil A, and the top has some extra cheese on it. And the cats are like, oh, "Can can I can I?" I, I and figured like, yes. it was just it was just very fun. Yeah. It was just very. Yeah. Uh, it is a tasty treat for fun. you. Mm. All right. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, where do we put our experience? Top of the page in core. 
in on in the D and D beyond. Oh, um. The thing. Go to manage experience, and then. Sorry, uh, what thing? You go to. You click on the experience bar under your name. Ah. Ah. You click on that. Go to manage experience. Uh, on the lower half of that, it has add XP, remove XP. Make sure it's on add XP. Type XP yes. value 175. Apply changes. You're done. Wonderful. Thank you. And you have a progress bar. I do. That's so fun. All right. Cool. Oops. All right. Well, that was early on on um, Sila's shift. So um, if Not you... my shift. Uh, no, because Sila was was the oh, last shift. Sila. Sila was the Sila. Uh, last shift. So, um, do you guys want to go ahead and uh, take a few extra hours to re rest up so you um, have a, a long rest? Um, yes. Okay, because uh, you guys, uh, from where you are on the map, you figure you'd have enough time to be able to do that and still make it. You'd probably make it around nightfall, but you would make it to the city. Okay. Okay. Cool. cool. Alright. Cool. So, Haley heals another D8. I'm, just, I'm assuming everyone goes back up to full and gets all their spell slots and abilities. Three hit points up to one hit dice. Alright, she gets two hit dice. <laughs> right. So she just needs to not roll two what ones. Are, what are my hit dice? Where? As a rogue, I think it's a D8. No, uh, if uh, if you guys take a long rest, you just instantly heal up and get all your stuff back. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just saying you guys you guys spend a couple extra hours. You guys take it slow and spend a couple hours resting and recuperating and get back up to full strength. Right. Okay, cool. All right. Also, once we do reach the city, we can go straight to the temple and... Oh, um, uh, I don't know if it's life domain. Probably not. But if there is a temple with the life domain, we can stay there for free. All right. Um, <laughs> if everyone could just what? um. All right. So before you guys before you guys leave, um, um, I'm gonna assume you take a you take a quick look around the area to make sure that you have everything, which would be perception checks. So Haley, go ahead and give me perception with uh, uh, advantage. Okay, perception with advantage. There we go. Hooray for advantage. <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> you didn't even need it. Uh, that is good enough. Uh, so you notice um, in now that you uh, in in the quicksand where you didn't before, uh, you notice uh, what looks like a quarter staff sticking out of it slightly. Interesting. I head over in that direction. Cool. Uh, it's it's close enough that you can pull it out without endangering yourself, uh, but oh, it it would probably be a hard check. So it'll pro so it would take athletics. I uh, don't know if you would like to call to the others to try and get help oh, with that, or if she's definitely. just gonna. Okay. I'm gonna call to the big bearded man. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and have him try to get it because I have an athletics of negative one. All right. So you help him out so he can do it with advantage, and then. Yes. Uh, Robin, I'm assuming, is going to give him guidance. Yeah, guidance! All right. Baboosh. All right, if you, re if you really want it. So. Of course I really want it. So, 20. Uh, more than enough. You, you, you easily pull it out, and you notice that there was also a, uh, um... Um, hey, uh, um, uh, I want to say a bindle, but that's not quite right of the word. Like, it's bigger than that. Like, it's a bundle that's equipped to it. I guess it's kind of like a bindle. Um, that, along with having a collection of mundane items, a small pot, a bed roll, and a few other odds and ends, uh, does seem to have a, um, a money purse in it, as well as a few scrolls, which, uh, which are remarkably unharmed, since they were placed into... I take the gold. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, what's uh, what's everybody's passive perception? My passive perception is a thirteen. Twelve. 
Okay. Yeah, Haley, you managed to you managed to snap up the gold before anybody notices you. Yay. What was in there? Uh, so there are there were two scrolls that you guys find, which uh, again you would normally have to make checks, but for the sake of it being a one shot, I'm just going to tell you what they are. Uh, it is a scroll of yeah. uh, chromatic orb and of animal friendship. I'm assuming I probably can't use them. Yes. Okay. So I will. I will. We'll quickly go over how scrolls work in this. Uh, Haley, uh, this is this is this is how much was inside the purse. Thank you. Ah, oh, the thief stealing everybody's hard-earned money. He's not gonna need it anymore. <laughs> I wonder if it was the child that went into the. Eh. Me, the player, That's... feels guilty. Yeah. <laughs> That's not to think about that. Yeah. Uh, all right, one second. Let me could have probably he could have used the stick to actually help save himself. Hmm. The stick has some buoyancy. It would react the same in water. He could have lain on it, and it would have kept him more on top of the quicksand than last longer. He probably tried to use it to pull himself back instead. All right, yeah. So you can only cast a spell on a scroll if it if it is uh, on your on any if it is on your spell if it is anywhere on your possibility of spell to cast list. Okay, so we could only sell these, really. Yes. Do I have? Uh... Nope. Do you have what? Um. No, I was wondering if I had uh, any of those. I don't. Well, no, those are like druid or or wizard slash sorcerer spells. They're not divine spells. Good mm -hmm. question. How many silver pieces before the next? Ten. And that's an EP or a GP? Uh, that's a GP. So it goes copper pieces, GP. silver pieces, gold pieces platinum pieces and each one of them um it takes 10 of the smaller one to make one of them so a silver oh. piece is worth 10 copper pieces and so on and so forth okay all right uh so um after that and you after you guys move away and continue your rest you eventually uh continue on your way eventually um the uh the road starts to um the road descends um gradually to a low spot uh that is filled with a thin fog uh, the air is much cooler and damper you can hear frogs croaking and mosquitoes buzz around you annoyingly great uh the ground the ground is money uh is muddy um, mm. and there is shallow water besides the side of the roads. Um, you come to a fork in the road with a, um, piece of lumber that jumps out of the water. It is a broken signpost. The, um, great. Uh, the top part of the water that has been broken is, um, is, is floating in the water just below where it's supposed to be. Hmm, 15,000 miles to China. That away. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see I don't it, what it says? That reference. I do. All right, uh, so you walk over to pick it up? No, I'm just going to look at it. Uh, you have to walk over, you have to pick it up to read it. <laughs> <laughs> then no, I'm just going to look at the map that we have. All right, does anyone want to walk over to pick it up? The sign? Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the mud? It's not in the you know, it's not in the middle of the mud. It just fell into the mud. Fell into the mud. Is it a distance away from the path? No, it well it's like a, a few inches. Oh, okay. I still like, don't trust it. There's the fork there's the fork there's the fork in the road and then there's where the sign was supposed to be and the sign just broke and it fell face first into the mud. There be kelpies in this water. Don't do it. Yeah. To be kelp. honest, we're probably no! we're probably all a bit jumpy from the quicksand. <laughs> That's 
that's fair. I'm picking it up. No. Okay. Um. Cool. I'm naturally curious. All right. Uh, everybody, give me a everybody, <gasps> give me a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was you. I thought I got the 22. No. I am most disappointed in myself. Hey. So someone else is feeling 22. Everyone else is feeling 22. <laughs> All right, the Let's hit these rolls. <laughs> well, Haley got a crit fail, so there's that. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's being offset. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Haley reads the sign. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so she's reading it. We're looking. Around. Okay, actually, this might work better. If not, in all honesty. Well, here, like, put her hit puts as 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 Sila reaches down to grab the signpost. Look here, is puts her hands on her head. Like, why? Why would you do this? No. <laughs> uh, who got better than twelve? Definitely not me. Definitely both of the other party members. Cool. So, so, uh, um, uh, Sayla is the only one surprised as, uh, she picks up the sign and it says, um, it says, it points in the two directions and then we're underneath the line. It also says, beware of bullywogs. Well, you are thinking, what's a bullywog? Everyone else noticed at the actual bullywogs. Oh. Like, I told you! I told you! <laughs> Look out! Yay, more XP! No, there's four of them! No! Yay! No! <laughs> we should have just kept moving! <laughs> Did you tell Sila that? Yes, she was like, no, don't pick it up. No, don't pick it up. She was like, don't pick it up. Oh, pick it up. Oh. Uh, she, she didn't hear you. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, nice. I'm still carrying Toad. I, I assumed as much. Well, you're, I, I was going to say, I, I'm assuming you're not so much actually carrying him as he's riding you at the moment. At the moment. Yes, I am. I am. I am a plus four mount. What? <laughs> All right. Well, while that while that is happening, you if you wish to have him stay on without him having to make any checks, you have to move at half speed. Okay. That's not the button I meant to press. Well, I would feel better if he was with me. So I'm just going to keep it for now. My initiative is because <laughs> That's better. I have selected my character, so I will roll. Sweet! I finally have a higher than 10 initiative. Uh, 17, 15, 15. Okay, so I have to get rid of the 20, the 8, and the 13. No! There's more! And whoop. <laughs> this right. one looks like he's wielding a gunblade cipher style. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add these guys as uh, groups. We'll just go that way. Okay. So there's that, and then <laughs> six plus. Sila, left or right? <laughs> You take the 30,000 on the left, I'll take the 30,000 on the right. Um, what's their initiative? Uh, plus one. Cool. Alright. Uh, Alright, and then... Let me double check the rules for surprise rounds in this version. <laughs> Index. <laughs> what do I want to do? Well, all three of these seem extremely useful right now. This will be good. It'll be good. Good times. Yes, good times. There are six of them. What time of the day is it? 
It's get et by frogs o'clock. <laughs> One eighty nine. <laughs> All right. Uh, hmm. Holy frick. Uh, Ben Cap, and he's using cries, and he's just still there. Oh my god. Mm. Alright, so, um, Haley, you can only take a. You can, only, you can either move or take an action. You cannot do both. Okay. Can my scroll bar stay in the same place for two seconds? Uh, no. No, apparently not. It's, uh, it's your turn, by the way. I can't... <clears throat> Alright, um... So, Lahira, having Toad in her shoulders, is going to cast Bless on the party right quick. That sounds like a great first turn move. Good. Cast at level one, and then she's going to make her way this way. One, two, three. Cool. Sila. Okay. I'm going to get out which weapon. I'm still not entirely sure. Looks like these guys are close range. All right. So I'll take out my rapier, okay. and I'm guessing is total defense a thing in this? It is called the dodge action. I will take a dodge action. All right. So. And move in front of Toad. Toad is on your shoulders behind me. Right. Well, I was, more. I was gonna say you do. St- I can't be on both sides. Um, well, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna double check, but uh, you are still able to take your bonus action if you want. Oh my! Eight, my 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 AC is back to 18 now. Yay. 18. <laughs> Well, yeah, because I'm wearing a shield now. Because I'm not. I, oh, I, that's what I'm it not was. proficient with war hammers. Yeah, so that's uh, that's what we found out that it was was that she actually did have a shield. It just didn't show up on her sheet for some weird reason. So yeah. the AC was right, but we were like, "There's no shield." But yeah, apparently she was supposed to get a shield. Interesting. Okay, I see. Yeah, technically, if I cool. was wearing, I was using a war hammer, I wouldn't, but. Right. I am apparently not proficient with warhammers, so there's that. All right. Uh, okay, so Cecilia, so you're just going to to draw your bow as part of a move action. Are you going to do anything else? Oh wait, you said I could either move or take an action. That is that is uh, yes, that is correct. That is how being surprised works. So yeah, I'll just. I mean, I'm just drawing my. Okay. My sword. My sword. Okay. Sword of swords. Uh, swords. Nor- Norgic. <sighs> okay. Uh, he is going to draw his sword while stepping back here. And, um... Huh. Two spells here that qualify as bonus actions. Can I cast one as an action? Um... Well, they're bonus actions. Yeah, so so, just, so no, they're they're a separate no. thing. You can only do one at this point. Um, you're not surprised. You can still you can still move, take action, and take a bonus action. We knew this was going to happen. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true. Yeah, see, is the only one, and normally you guys rolled well enough that I wouldn't have given her a problem with it, but she crit failed it, so. Yeah. No, I know, yeah, I know that, so I'm just, that, um, that was I, I think he wants to, he wanted to cast both of his bonus action spells at once, but no, I don't think you can yeah, do that. Yeah, if I need a standard action, I don't actually know what i do. Uh, probably take the dodge action. That's a good idea. Yeah, you can only take one bonus, you can and only take one bonus divine. action on your turn divine favor upon myself or actually how's your ac sila i have an ac of 15 i believe oh let me 14 uh, okay shield of faith it's a 16 now yay thank you thank you be my bonus action instead
Oh yeah, I can I can sword. actually I can view other players uh character sheets. Sweet. Yeah, the one on roll 20 uh, it does not uh, reflect. No, no, I'm saying I'm saying on uh on uh, D&D Beyond, I can look at people's character sheets. Good. Very good. I have three prepared. I chose Divine Favor, Shield of Faith, and Wrathful Smite. Because all those sounded really useful. Although, Haley apparently... Robin already had Bliss. Oh, Haley something... What? Oh, uh, your character's not actually showing up in the campaign. That's weird. Oh, we'll figure really? that out. Yeah, it's fine. I wonder if I accidentally made one outside of the campaign. I think that's probably what happened. Uh, you can you can find out if you click on uh, the the link that I sent you to it. Um, it'll have an option. If you do not have a character, it'll say, do you don't have a character? Would you like to assign this character to the campaign? And you can assign uh, one. Good stuff. All right. Well, guys, something really useful. In um, D&D Beyond, in your little... Um, Thing that says actions, spells, equipment, features, and traits, description, and notes. Under the actions tab, it has a category called actions in combat, and it tells you all the different things you can do. Ooh, I like this. All right, so you bless up to three creatures of your choice whenever the target makes an attack roll, saving throw, uh, or saving throw before the spell ends. Uh, gets a plus. It gets one d four. Sweet. All right. Uh, it is the the bullywogs get to go. Uh, okay, I'm in now. Okay, cool. Um, I don't like it. No, I have a small child. Don't don't attack me. All right. So this one's gonna hippity foppity hop up to up to see ya. And try Sila, whatever. <laughs> I am the DM. Your name, whatever I say it is. I am now John. No. Oh. Uh. All right. All right. So first, it's gonna try and bite you with its froggy teeth. Bite me. I'm gonna, oh my. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that hits. All right. Yikes. All right, and then because for some odd reason they're not in the compendium, which is sad to me. All right. So the the tw I'm just gonna cut this. Uh, all right. So I'm assuming the 22 hits. Yes, it certainly all right. does. All right. Uh, so take. Uh, take three points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, and then it has multi-attack, so it also gets to try and stab you with its spear. Oh, dear. I don't want to be stabbed by a spear. Oh, it's a spear. He has two Where hands on it. Oh. And okay. I'm going I'm to I'm assume that 21 that, that's hits. It. Yep. Wait, no, he doesn't have advantage. Why am I rolling Why am I rolling him with advantage? doesn't matter. Why are you rolling with him? Yeah, his a... his good advantage his good rolls were the first ones anyway so it doesn't matter all right so then figures jeez all right <coughs> then take three points of piercing damage okay right. uh then this one is gonna move up. He's going to hippity foppity boppity you. So he's going to try and bite you first. Uh, what's your AC? 18. Hippity foppity you. Okay. All right, so uh. his, his bite misses, and then he's going to try and stab you with a spear. <laughs> yep, nope. <gasps> oh. No. Oh. no. Does that mean anything in this? Uh, it means, I don't think so. I'm pretty much sure that just means that they miss really bad. Okay. okay. I, I'm pretty sure it's just the, it's just, it's just an auto miss and, and instant double damage. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Uh, then this, the, this guy, this guy 
Uh, he can only move to there. And he takes the dodge action. Okay. Which I'm going to symbolize by lightning bolts. Oh, let me get these guys' colors so you guys can... Uh... Oh, I thank you. Oh, thank you. It's useful. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You guys can tell me which which one you want to hit again. All right, uh, so that's all. I'm pretty sure that's all he can do with his turn. Because they just get cool. All right, so then the giant frogs get to go. <laughs> all right. Um, cool. Oh. Cool. Uh, hippity foppity. Boppity. <laughs> no, I don't like this at all. Well, that misses. I don't want to be grappled. All right. Uh, being grappled isn't fun. Hippity foppity. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Phew. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like frogs. Frogs. No, frogs. I'm going to have terrible nightmares about frogs now. Oh, dear. No. Oh. All right. So nice. that. That's that, to me. Yes. So that hits you. All right, uh, so you are grappled. Let's go over what grappled means in this one. Yes, please do. The grappling rules are actually not that bad. All right. Grappled. A grappled creature's speed becomes zero. Uh, and you can't benefit uh, from any bonus to your speed. Okay. Uh, the condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. Uh, the condition also ends if, the effect, if an effect removes the grappled condition... Uh, removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler or the grappling effect, such as a creature is hurled away by a thunder wave spell, uh, you can try to uh, escape a grapple as a action. Which entails? Uh, you make a check of... I'm looking that up. I, I just had the conditions in front of me. I didn't have the grappling rules. They're actually... They're not bad okay. at all. Uh, that's fine. No, they're, they're not bad. They're... Yeah. Um, Combat. I mean, it's a DC 11 to get out of it. I assume it's... Yeah, uh, so reasonable. you can make... Escaping your grapple, you can either make an athletics or acrobatics check. Okay. All right, cool. Yes, and he can move you with him for half of his speed. If he so chooses. Okay. All right, uh, Lahira. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one hits... Two things. I think it was Sacred Flame. Hold on. Uh, what was the one that was it? Within range. I guess not. I thought one of my spells targeted two people but i guess not uh i believe um, it's is i think it may be guiding bolt i'm not finding it now um nope okay no 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 all right um <coughs> okay so Oh gosh. Um what's 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 mace? Um attack. It's plus two. Still my guiding bolt is the best chance I have at hitting something. Alright. Uh I will remind you, uh um alright, so guiding bolt is a ranged attack, so you would have disadvantage to the roll. Mm, fine. I will use my mace. Okay. Which is a plus two. So it's the same as the Warhammer. So I'll just roll Warhammer. All right. Who are you? It's not a Warhammer. Who are you trying to hit? Um, oh gosh. If I, if I swing it, then they're going to get attacks, right? No. Why would they? Oh, okay. Um. Um. Give me two seconds. I'm sorry. Uh, while you're <coughs> doing that, uh, am I able, would I be able to attack the red Bullfrog? Yes. With it grappling Caleb's yes. character? Yes. Okay. 
Oh, here, I can I can edit this. Uh, Warhammer. Uh, <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Go. Ha! I so got you! Oh, I was gonna hit you, but now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wasn't entirely sure. I mean, if it's a hostage situation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you also. Oh, you are also. Rest- uh, you are also restrained. Uh. Attack rolls against you have advantage, and your attack rolls have disadvantage. Okay. Mm-hmm. As it basic as it's you know gone and has you all circled up with its tongue. Well, that happened that eventually. Oh. Um. I lost her. Yes. Why is there salsa music playing? Uh, I will also remind you. You do as rogue have the bo- have the bonus action. So, for example. Uh, you could disengage and move behind here so you would have advantage and deal extra sneak attack damage. That does sound pretty good. Behind where? Like, like, uh, here. See if you want to attack the red frog. That would mean I would have to walk through the blue frog, wouldn't it? No, you, can, you can move around. I can use oh. healing word as a bonus action. Yeah, just... In that case, I'm going to try to disengage. All right, so you disengage as a bonus action. For my bonus action. And then stealth, you said? No, just move. You just move. Oh, just move. I'm going to disengage. Disengage, and... disengage means that you will not cause any attacks of opportunity. Cool. And now I'm Which gonna... actually, actually, you don't even act... You wouldn't actually need that because uh, you would never leave this guy's... Um... Oh, you would, you would need it for the red frog. The red frog would have gotten an attack of opportunity. So, right. but the blue guy would have never gotten an attack of opportunity, just as a... Right. have to do that thing. while he's grappling me? No, I don't think so. Because if he only has a bite attack and his mouth is currently full of paladin, can he... <laughs> Actually, yeah, he, he, can't, he can't bite anything else. That's what the grappled condition is, right? Or am I the only one that's grappled here? Like, he can't bite someone else if he's currently grappling with his When you want to grab a creature or wrestle with it, use an attack action, make a special... Uh, uh, yeah, look, bite. The target is grappled, escape DC 11, and until this grapple ends, the target is restrained, and the frog can't bite another target. Oh, yeah, so there you go. Oh, okay, so, so for my bonus action, I'll try to hide, then, so that I can get the... Well, I, you you can't really hide, because there's... Hide in front of them? Yeah. Yeah, it's, there's, there's no real cover, and it's... It's slightly foggy, but not enough that they would lose track of you. Reasonable. So it just occurred to me by something that I read that attacking with my daggers means that I would be attacking with two weapons, correct? That is that, co- is, that is correct. You can do so, that. So, okay, so I would be doing 2d4 plus 3 per each piercing damage rather than just 1d4 pier- plus 3 piercing. No, you make two attack. You would make two attacks. Right. Right. Yes, they are. They are. You can dual wield that easily in this version. So. Okay. Yeah, you well, get. Unfortunately, you get, I didn't. You get no penalties to it. So, uh, uh, you can, you can, you can draw an item as part of a move action. So you can draw yeah. the dagger as part oh, so of I your move. Oh, I can draw one dagger. Yeah. yeah you can draw, oh, draw a dag- okay. the dagger in your other hand, and then attack with your rapier and your dagger wow. against the frog, and both of them have advantage. And if either. Awesome. Uh. So go ahead and do that. I will and do hey. that. I will ta- attack with my rapier, and style. then I will attack with my dagger. Okay, well, the, the rapier really mm. hits. Th- that's, did, that's... Those are the two extremes there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Man, uh, feast or famine, that Once one. per turn. Okay, yeah. yeah. So once per turn. So you only get it once, but that's... All right, and then... An I eight, only get one. What, you, only get, you only get one sneak attack damage per turn. That. With this kind of sneak attack? It doesn't yes. matter that you're not hidden. You're flanking. Anytime uh, you, uh, anytime you roll with advantage, it counts uh-huh. towards a, it counts towards your sneak attack ability. Right, right. Because okay. he's right here. Right? Yes. So his AC is eleven. So you hit him because you have advantage because. Yay! And that would be one d eight plus three. So, so your rapier, yeah, your rapier would be one d eight plus three, and the plus an additional d six for the for the sneak attack damage. Oh right, yes. And then you also, 
you also hit with your dagger. I did hit with the dagger? Yeah. You got an, eight, you got an 18. Oh, because I, I had advantage. That's right. And the dagger is 1d4? Plus 3? Yes, plus 3. Uh, 4 plus 3 and all right uh one second i'm just double checking making sure that there's it doesn't do anything special because you're dual wielding i don't think so i think it's pretty much just that you can't have a uh you have to have a light weapon in your offhand when you're dual wielding well it definitely would have been my offhand as yeah i drew it second well yeah it's, it's... that oh, that yeah, that isn't the problem i'm just making sure new attack Okay. Like I hand. said, a rapier and a dagger is actually a classic dueling style. So when you're holding it in one hand, you can use bonus. Sense. Do you have two up in fighting? Okay. Yes, I do. All right. So, so okay, so you do it as a bonus action. Ah, <laughs> uh, the second attack would be a bonus action. Yes. So you you took your bonus action to di you know you didn't need to. So, right, right. So, so you can do it this turn, but if you use your bonus action, your rogue boat special bonus actions where you can dash, disengage, or hide, you can't. Right. You can't do double damage, but you didn't need to because of this case. All right. So then you stab him a bunch. I stubby stab. Uh, so if you took the two weapon fighting feat, it means that she can actually do wield uh, any two weapons that are one handed. Sick. Okay. Uh, also, you can draw. T did you take the feet, H Haley? Did you take the feet, or you did you take? Well, I was looking in my bonus actions in my D and uh, D Beyond sheet, and it says actions in combat to weapon fighting. Oh, yeah, okay. For me. That everybody uh, gets that. That's the baseline version. There's a feat oh, that. Yeah! yeah, there's a feat that bumps that up. Yeah, everyone gets two weapon. The baseline two weapon fighting. But All yeah, right. you have it. You have a simple weapon in your offhand, so it should be fine. Light weapon, yeah. but yes. So you deal a bunch of damage to him. Eleven. He's squickety squawks. I'm sure he does. All right, uh, Norjik. Uh, so since Haley is flanking him, you would normally have disadvantage, but she is but and she but she is granting you advantage, so those two cancel out, so you can attack Red Frog normally. Hmm. Which uh, it looks it looks pretty beat up, so there's a good chance you'd be able to take it out. All right, uh, hold on, just a moment. Okay. Yeah, might as well try to attack it. Um. Oh. That seems like the correct decision. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, Haley crit. She should have rolled an extra D8. <laughs> One second, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of so that. So this is, that, yeah. Yeah, you do that. All right. That, yeah. uh, okay. I, I'll, I'm just assuming you attacked Blue Boy instead. Oh, yeah, that's exactly enough to kill oh. him. If Yeah, if he died, I would have used my bonus action to cast Divine Favor on myself. That's fine. I'm good with that. Because it's like suddenly, if my if I'm free, my hands are free. I can do that because it has a somatic component. Yes. And I yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. So so you did that first, then you crit against Blue Boy. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, how much damage does this do? Um. Again, this does two d six plus three. Okay. All right. So four d six plus three. So that's the standard damage, and then, uh, then divine favor gives. Oops. Oh, Ooh. also, you guys forgot that you're blessed. You're all supposed to be rolling an extra one d four with attacks. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's I just. Think that's because we haven't needed well, it. Well, I failed anyway. Well, I know, but it's just. <laughs> it's let's just make this as hard on ourselves as possible. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Am I, wait, hold on. How does, let me check. Uh, how Caleb, you, works you, really quick. You, you took him out with the crit, so he, you paced him. Okay. <laughs> you almost, you, you, you just, you, you, yep. 
You just be you just behead the thing. <laughs> okay. And you still can move if you wish. Uh, yeah, I am going to oh. uh, move over here. Right. Thank you. I need to remember that the frogs are actually all tied together for their health. I need to, I need to track them separately. I just, because I, I was like, oh, this represents the frog. Forgetting that then the system would see all frogs as the same frog. Um, Joel. Yes. I understand why you might have been excited, a bit too excited for this, but didn't that uh, giant frog biting me, me deal damage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed, like, why am I at full health? <laughs> uh, took dealt you minimum damage. <laughs> oh, I forgot what I went downstairs oh, for. Oh, uh, he gets one more. He gets one more. Why, why does he get one more? Who gets one more? Gets one more damage on me because he crit me. Oh yeah, he did, didn't he? All right, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, so four, five, six total damage. Okay, so right, another. Another the green blue log would have 11 health. Okay. Right, let me just put the giant red X's of death on these guys. Good idea. Nice. Alright. Uh, the bully wogs get to go. Um... <sighs> And fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, Caleb has made himself a prime target for them. Yep. Because they can both attack you with advantage. So that's what they're going to do. Huh. All right. So I'm just going to grab the dice roller here. So they roll T. Oh, no. Okay. So it's 1d20 plus thing. So, uh, this is Red Boy's attempt to bite you. Does, uh, 17 hit your AC? Yes. Hold on a moment. There we go. Yes. Okay. So, fortunately his bite is not that bad. Uh, take three points of damage. All right, and then he gets the to try and spear you as well. So he's going to do that. Uh, so, okay. so the nineteen hits. Okay. hands uh take three points of damage okay whoops i clicked away all right that's fine all right and then uh the green one is is going to go at you because they're mad because you just beheaded their friend they liked him his name was steve you beheaded yes. steve. Ah, steve oh uh Haley, we I realized you for you forgot that you crit against the frog Oh, I did, didn't I? So oh, I, did I kill the frog? Yeah, I rolled the extra damage and you killed you killed the giant frog. So Caleb Hooray! and then Caleb crit and killed the the this guy. So Nice. I help you, uh, you help me. Alright, so he's gonna good. he's gonna try and here it sucks all the damage from the guys in the bottom. No, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, I did that so that he, he could oh. hopefully go help you Alright, So uh fourteen misses you. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, that one misses. Yep. 
Uh, does a 17 hit? Yes. All right. Take three points of damage. Instant. Cool. And then this frog is going to hippity hoppity over here. No! Uh, and they're both going to attack the, the lady with the horns. Mm. Oh, uh oh. Uh, no, that doesn't. Oh. Oh, my, my AC is 18. All right. So while normally uh, you feel as though that should have hit you, uh, you notice that as they go to attack, um, uh, a flash of light and some runes appear upon the uh, cape that was given to uh, Toad. Uh, oh, wait, 18, you said? Yeah, my AC is 18. Oh, your AC is 18. So, yes, so that, yep. Uh, so uh, okay, okay, so Ty goes to me then. Uh, in this case. No, Does Ty the cape, he's Tiger? saying that the boy's cape is warding them off. Yes. Uh, so uh, you effectively are getting a plus two to AC from it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, basically you could feel their mouths closing around you and then bright light. And it's like, oh, they missed somehow. I'm going to keep this kid. He's an AC item. That's... <laughs> wow. All right. You went from one to protecting to you using it as a meat field very quickly. Uh, all right. Lahira, it's your turn. All right. Um... I guess I might as well attack with my mace again. Okay. Who who are you attacking? I'm going to attack Spiry Man. Okay. Green Bullywog. Okay, so I get a D4 to this because I'm also blessed. Oh, yeah. We also realized that you guys were blessed and kept forgetting about that. Oh, but yeah. But we kept critting or crit failing, so it didn't really matter. All right, so that is, uh, that's an 18 then? Yes. All right, he has an AC of 15, so that hits. Yay. And the mace is a D6 plus one. I didn't do the plus one, but that's a plus one. All right, so four damage as you wallop it. Wallop it did. All right. Uh, Sila, who do you want to backstab? Today. I will backstab. I'm going to go for this green bullfrog over here. All right. Well, to do that, you would have to get in the water. In the water. Um, it's not the red one. What if I go here? You don't get combat advantage. That's true. So, yes, I will stop the red one. Here or here. Yeah, so you want to move here because you have to. Purely opposite. Opposite. opposite yeah. You... Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, you have to. It has to. It has to be so that you can. You're, it's, yeah. Okay. So, I didn't know that. I was using context clues. I hope that was right. Yes. Yeah, you have to, you have to be able to, oh. you have to be able to, uh, you have to be able to draw your farthest, connect your farthest edge with your allies farthest edge, and that has to go directly through the center of the figure, which gotcha. does mean okay. for large figures, there's a little bit more wiggle room, but for medium ones, yes, you have to be directly on uh, okay. a possible size. All right, so... So I'll use the rapier and the dagger again. Yep. And you get D4 to both of them because Robin blessed you. Blessed. Awesome. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> well, they both hit. Yeah, so... so... Oh, right, yes. So, first things first. Let's you're see, you're the realist? D4. So huh? you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna drop it and let the whole world feel it? Here's the D8 for my rapier. Uh, good. And now it's a plus. It's a it's one d four. It's just a d. d it's just a d four. You don't Straight get. D4. You do not get any bonus. You do not get your strength bonus to it. Gotcha. All right, ten damage with the and rapier, now, or your your dexterity, I guess, in your case, because you yeah. use dex. So. And now for the dagger. That that is that is the dagger. The one d the one d four is the dagger. Oh. Oh, so what's the bonus from Robin's blessing? Yeah, it's, two a, it's to attack. It's a it's a one d four to attack. Oh, to attack. Okay, so my three up here that I rolled with the d four gets a plus three. 
No, that was your dagger damage because you hit anyway. So if it was, you got a attack. Yeah, you got a twenty-one and a seventeen on your attack. So yes. you didn't need a roll blessing. Otherwise, I would have said roll blessing, but it wasn't anywhere close. So you roll one d eight plus three for your rapier. Your yes. dagger does not get an ability bonus to its damage. It just gets really? its flat dice. Yes. Okay. When you're when okay. you're when you're dual wielding, without the feet, uh, it just gets yeah. It just gets flat, uh, flat. It just gets the the dice roll. So you deal a total of ten damage to it. Gotcha. Which is just enough so that it doesn't croak. Aww. That's a shame. All right, Norjek. Norik. 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 Um, okay. Scandinavian Norik. Norik. Like it's yet another name I stole from Bionicle, and I kind of, I kind of gave it a Scandinavian twist. That is fair. I really want to actually figure out a way to put the Kanohi Max in Fifth Edition. Oh, I would love to implement those. I've just kind of been using them as character flavor for the different characters. I'm going to attack this guy. <laughs> Which one is this? Which one is this guy? The frog or the? Attacked. What? Oh, okay. Which one were you attacking? Which one? Oh, okay. Oh, well, uh, you have advantage then, so that's another crit. Ha <laughs> I smush him. Yeah, just just roll to see how just much take damage. Take the flat of my blade. Okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah. better. <laughs> I don't. I don't uh, <laughs> you do have to roll damage. I want to see how badly you kill him. So my damage, according to the character sheet, is 2d6 plus 3. So then that gets upgraded to 4d6 plus 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Whoops, nope. Um, right, and then hold on. I have one more. Right, because you have the other the spell that you cast on yourself. Twenty one damage. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so that. Uh, um, wow. That's that's even over his negative hit points. So I just take the flat of my blade and I squish him flat. It's like in Baldur's <laughs> Gate when you crit kill an enemy and it just explodes. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> you uh, you 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 do that. He's he's a, he's a frog puddle. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yes, I see. <laughs> Alright, uh, I believe. Actually, wait, I think. One second. I actually may have combat. How combat event. How, uh. Combat advantage. Uh, I think you just. Actually... Oh! I might have just had normal there. No, no, no. You had combat advantage. I'm seeing if Haley was right and she didn't need to be moving there to give you. to have combat advantage. Because um, that would. Potentially help us in giving Robin combat combat advantage to that the other. That is thing. true. Let me let me. Duh, 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 duh. Um. I'm guessing bodies count is difficult to read. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it costs twice as much movement to move over those. Uh. Where is the rule? Uh, Get your tail out of the cheese. Oh, I think my cat just had a nightmare because she woke up with a start and then started meowing and looking around. Aww. You know cats only meow to get humans' attention? They don't make that noise otherwise? <laughs> I read on Pin... There's like a Pinterest post that it's like... It's kind of like when um, they're... Like, you know how when you... Somebody doesn't speak your language and they're still trying to convey something to you and they just say it really loud... That's what cats are doing. <laughs> I'm I'm looking for the bathroom. I like the one that's like I like I would like to pretend that when I meow back, it like that my cat enters that my cat hears me saying complete something completely different even though he understands my meaning. I'm glad to see you. Yes, potatoes are great. No, I'm glad to see you, but I'm glad I get what you mean. Pretty sure. Mm. 
Huh. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go with the old school rules of of how it works. I because I can't okay. find it, and I I'm assuming that flanking still works. But. Yeah, she has. Okay. Oh, there actually may not be blinking. Which would be weird. And I'd... I guess... Oh, wait, maybe it's just... Flanking in 5th edition D&D. &D. Um... Rules packet doesn't provide any specific rules about flanking. However, the rules does say that DM has a lot of leeway to decide what does give an advantage and disadvantage in combat. Okay, so. Uh, flanking. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, should be noted that these rules are part of the general so rules. Take it to players using miniatures. Yes. Okay. So with tag. Yes. Yeah, okay. So it's 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 somewhere. It's in the GMG. That's where I read it. Uh, when a creature and at least one of its allies are adjacent to an enemy on opposite corners of the enemy spaces, they flank that enemy okay. and each okay. of them has advantage. That's where I read it. So yes. So they, so it only appears if you're using a tactical map, that's the only time that flanking your rules. It's not in the base rules because the base rules assume that you are not using a combat map, which I will never do. Um, okay. I'm not going to say I'm going to never do, but I never do it online because maps are yeah. fun. I like combat maps. They are, yes. yes. They're a fun time. All right, so uh, it's... Let's like fire emblem. All right, so it's just the one Bullywog's turn, then. Yep, I have melted two of his friends. <laughs> oh, he he doesn't like you for that. He's going to try and bite you. Well, well, I don't like them for jumping us. So there, we're even. <sighs> uh, 18? Yes. <laughs> uh... Well, well, um, that was my D4, right? right so. Yeah, he has a 16, I think. So, yeah, that would hit. All right. Uh, take two points of damage as he bites you. Oh! Okay. So it's the boss over here. And then a 17. Hits as well. All right. Five more points of damage. All day. Uh, okay, I'm down. Ha ha! We're getting into the. He rejoices. Alright, uh, so the giant frog. has advantage against me. He. Green one does, yeah. He if does. He's attacking. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're both gonna attack you. Because the other guy's down, so they don't uh. have to worry about it. Alright, so they're gonna try and bite. So that's ah. all right. So so uh, green boy hits. Uh, so you have all that bad stuff, and then additionally, um, no, excuse me. He does not do a d twenty worth of damage. He does also not do a d sixty one of damage. He does one d six plus one, which equals two in this case. All right, and then okay. blue blue boy is gonna try and attack you. Oh right, thank you. He no. did, he did, he did. Uh, he did crit that, didn't he? Okay, so eight damage to to Robin, okay, uh, so and then additional six. Yeah, and then uh, blue boy misses you. Okay. It's then your turn. Oh dear. All right, so just as a note. Um, uh, if you want to, like, cast Cure Light Wounds, that does not uh, cause an attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, so I'm grappled, so I can't move, right? Is there anything else I can't do? Uh, oh, you're restrained. So you cannot... You're restrained. Um, a restrained creature's speed becomes zero. Um... Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and any attack rolls you roll have disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Uh. 
So actually, you can still cast spells with. Uh, I just yeah, I just wasn't going to because I didn't feel it blended well, and besides, I didn't have to worry about it. Yeah. So if you have a, if you get a, you this thing, or you could uh, yell at him to get up, and with a, with the yeah. healing word. Oh, healing word is a bonus action. That's cool. yeah. Uh, can, I cast, can I cast healing word on myself? Because it's technically ranged. Uh, a creature of your choice that you see within range require oh, regains hit points. Die. So I would say no, because I it says a myself. creature you of your choice you can see. So mm -hmm. she could cross her eyes <laughs> or no. look at my hand. I am I am assuming that <laughs> what it what it is. Yeah, I'm assuming that is not what uh what it is trying to say. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I'm not having a good time. So I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm gonna cast. Oh, should I cast Cure Light or should I just take a dodge action? Hmm. While you're grappled. Can I do that? Uh. Well, he can't. He can't really attack me again while he's grappling me, right? Because he's just biting me. He's just holding on to me. Uh, he can't bite another person. Yes, he can keep biting you. He can, like, okay, release would, and clamp okay. back down. So if you take the dodge action, then uh, no matter what, um, it is impossible for them to get advantage on you because they'll cancel each other out. Yeah, okay. So I think, I think I'm think i going to go for that. Okay. I'm going to take a dodge action. Okay. All right. Uh, and are you going to use Healing Word or no? I mean, does anyone else need it? Uh, Caleb is unconscious. I'm unconscious! I didn't know that I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. I'm using fine, I'll use it. <laughs> sorry, I said I'm out. I'm I didn't down. hear that part. You must have cut out for me. <laughs> there, are you happy? Yes, extremely. <laughs> you are conscious again. Yay! Okay. Uh, Sila is going to Alright, uh walk. so the the little net means that that's the one that's grappling you. Oh, wait, no, is that the one that's grappling you? That's not the one that's grappling you. Uh, yeah, I the... thought it was green guy. Yeah, I said oh, it. I, I did say it was green guy. Yeah. Oops. That's, I'm like, why can't I find the net? Oh, it's covered by his... It's slightly by having... unfortunate, but that's yeah. okay. So, uh, so you can go to here and have combat advantage. Oh, I can? Yes. Okay, so let's see. One. Uh, how do diagonals work again? They, in moving? Uh, they are just normal squares. Awesome. So two, three, four, five, yes. So I'm going to move up here now so that I have combat advantage and I'm going to stabby stab this guy. Cool. That's it. Don't also... Do not forget that you can dash as a bonus action because that is awesome. How does dashing work? You move your speed. You basically can double move. Yeah, that's what I... Figured. Yes, but if you do that, you can't you can't double attack. So right. that does have combat advantage. You also Good. roll me those d roll me one d four for each of them. Oh yes. Against that frog. Uh oh no that hits the eleven and it only has an eleven. Oh yeah those those hit it only has an eleven. So. Oh okay cool. Yeah. So I was I was more saying it so you people remembered you were blessed. Yes. Cool. So now I will roll damage one d eight plus three. And then 1d4 plus none. Okay, so 9, 13 nice. damage to him. Uh, that was max damage for me. Not almost. Uh, How would it not be? Uh, you rolled a... A d8 rolled a 6. Oh, right, it was a d8. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, right. Frog Boy is not happy with his life. I'm sure he isn't. Alright, uh, yeah. right, Norgic. Uh, how many hit points are you down, Robin? Uh, I'm at seven, so I'm down eight. Okay. Right. Just lay on hands yourself. But then I won't be attacking. Fine, then oh, attack. that's right. Probably should do the land hands. This because I, I'm only one shotting these guys because I'm rolling really well. <laughs> yeah. 
Don't forget you're blessed. I know you haven't really needed it because you've been critting, but you still are blessed. That's true, yes. So it will be easier to hit them. No, I'm not worried about my to hit. I'm worried about actually killing the guy. Um... Also, as a reminder, uh, like, you are technically prone, but in this version, standing up does not cause an attack of opportunity, and it only costs you half your movement. So if, you, Ooh, so for you, up. if you stand up, yeah, if you stand up, it only, uh... That's right, I wasn't knocked unconscious standing up. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> I mean, technically, with, like, how fast six sex seconds are, it, it is technically conceivable that, like, you are falling on the way down, the way down, and Lahira's like, "No, wait, stop!" <laughs> I just do, the, I do like the little Mac stagger. I was like, "No." Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyone? What? Anybody? Anybody? What? Uh, has have you hit anybody? Uh, Green Frog and Blue Frog are both pretty beat up, and the remaining Bullywog uh, has taken some damage. Yeah, I whacked him with a, a mace. Alright, I might as well try to attack this guy. Okay. Against my better judgments. <laughs> I can't move, I can't. Um, that's... All right, well, you hit him. I hit him, good. And okay. hashtag this. Ta -da. So, do d6 plus 3 plus 1d4. I Boy, believe... No, no, I, no, 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 no. I believe the that... Radiant damage. I, got, I have radiant damage. Oh, I'm sorry, damage. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. I believe that spell ends, though, because you fell unconscious. Technically. What was it that you used? Divine Favor. Duration, one minute. Your repair empowers you with Divine Radiance. Until the spell ends, your weapon attacks deal an extra 1d4 radiant damage on a hit. Yeah, all spells all spells end as soon as you, as soon as you fall unconscious. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, or... Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, I'm double-checking that. I'm double-checking that rule, but I'm pretty sure about it. It doesn't actually matter, because you, you knock him out, but... Oh. The gods stop favoring you when you fall asleep. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Um, do you need a concentrate to maintain that, or once you cast it, it's nope. just on? Okay, so it would still be on. It's only concentration spells that end when you fall unconscious. Okay. Uh, anyway, you only needed the nine to, uh, uh, to, to slice him to ribbons as well. So all the bullywogs are down. Okay, and move. Fair enough. Uh, giant frog. Uh... All right, so blue giant frog notices you're much scarier, and he's going to go after you. Caleb. Okay, sure. He, he doesn't like being surrounded. Fishing for a disadvantage here, hopefully, but that's... <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Thus, cool. It's really scary when you roll the two of them. Because uh, I have the digital dice going, and so oh. I'm like, I'm like, oh no, did he? <laughs> it's actually kind of fun because you're did like, he crit again? yeah, you're like, did he crit or did he miss? All right, green guy gets to attack, but he does not have advantage, and he's gonna try and chomp down on Robin's character some more. Uh, fourteen no. versus your AC, so that is a failure. He would have had a twenty-two other if you hadn't dodged. So good <laughs> choice. Yay! I was smart. Yay! All right, it is your turn. Oh dear. Um. Try to escape I, if I, your strength is any good. I have an eleven in strength, so probably not. Uh, you can also use Dex. If that is any better, my, you can. No, my so, Dex is eight. So you can make an athletics or an acrobatics check to escape. Okay. Um. I DC think. Eleven. I think yep. I'm just going to take another dodge action and I'm going to use healing work again on um, York. Quick question. Yes. What round is it? Uh, um, let me see. Uh, 
Sorry, I thought you had a counter. I will go and count myself. <laughs> uh, will o wisp will o wisp will o wisp will o wisp Uh, Robin was the first one to go, so Robin. Can I cast bless? One, two, three. Okay, four. yeah, you're still blessed. Yeah. All right. Uh, you, yeah, you would also have a, an extra D four to it. To bless or not? Uh, uh, to healing word. Athletics or acrobatics to escape. Yes. Uh. So she, that's fine. She wants to take the dodge action. All right, Sila. Yeah, no. Yay. I will... There you go, New York. Stabby stab some more. Okay. So, Rapier and Geiger. Ooh. <laughs> I think he's dead. 1d8 plus 3 damage. Uh, that's 2d8, because you crit. 2d8? You crit. Oh, you yes. had advantage. Right, I had advantage. Mwah. <laughs> and one D four plus zero. Okay, so that's uh, 15, okay. 19 damage. <laughs> well, well, you only get the it. So it's two D eight. So that's a seven plus the. It's a, just a plus seven. So that would be a. I counted that. Okay. I, oh yeah, I forgot to get rid of the plus three. That's fine. I I assumed you just pressed the up button. Um, so yeah, so 15, 19 damage. Yeah, that would have been enough to, that double kills him. Oh, wait, no, 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 that doesn't double kill him, it just kills him normally. Yeah, so you just, uh, you managed to get behind him, you stab him, and then you got, you maxed the other dice, so I'm gonna say you sliced the, the, his throat. Yay, I'm not grappled anymore. It's true. It's now Norgic's turn. Well, you had a, you had advantage, yes. so... Yes. Uh, That's roll. Good. Hashtag That's blessed. Good. So, <laughs> that hits. Uh, you didn't need the blessing, but it hits. So. Okay. So that's two d six plus Oops. e plus one d four. Yeah, for ten damage. <laughs> the nine was more than enough to put him down. Yeah, uh, you did it. <sighs> All right, uh, Haley, did you take? Some damage there? Uh, I took a bit. Yeah, let's see. What am I at? Oh, that's not my token. I'm at nine. My max is... Okay, so I took six points of damage. Okay. All right. Yes, I, uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and use... use a, I'll just heal both of you guys for five point, hit points each. Why, thank you. Right. No other reason than I can. I appreciate this. Okay. Um. Okay. I loot the bodies. All right. They're okay. Uh, so you guys get a hundred XP each. Yes. Um. Uh, <laughs> uh. Between, between the three bullywogs, uh, you fi you find thirty five GP, and eighteen silver pieces, uh, and on the guy who Caleb just like completely um who beheaded before like he had any t taken any real damage and thought he was in any trouble uh you find a potion of healing okay so how much xp was that that was 100 xp okay and 35 oh man it's not what i meant to do 35 gp and i put it in the chat oh good thank you i appreciate this <laughs> All right. So are we splitting the gold or are we assuming Haley's just taking all of it? Oh, I'm splitting it this time. Okay. I don't want you guys to go too suspicious of me. <laughs> Though I might snag a few extra. Oh yeah, there's Electrum pieces as well. So yes, let's see. If you, in the... My keyboard is covered. Can someone else do the calculations? Hang on. If by three, uh, each of us get 11 and 
two of us actually get 12. <laughs> or um, or Haley just gets 14. Or she pockets those. Yeah, she pockets whatever she wants. Uh, the 18 can be divided equally into six each. And, all right. So how do you want to approach that, Haley? Um... Yeah, she'll take the, uh, how would she do it? Nah, it would be too suspicious if it was perfect. So, <laughs> so what she'll actually do is snag an extra three GP and then be willing to let you guys take the extra. Uh, so we each get 11 and you get quote unquote 10. <laughs> yes. Okay. Typed out my currency. How much did we get? 12? We got 11 gold and 6 silver. How much silver? 6. Okay, sorry. Caleb, you keep cutting out. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just wanted to make sure that my mic picked me up. Lahira looks kind of miffed and and flustered and she turns to to Sila and says, "Well, did you f at least figure out which direction we need to go?" Uh, she grins. Uh, did did I? What did the sign say? The sign. Yes, yes. It's a it it um it um mm. da, 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 da. the the sign the sign uh pointed um. Uh, you go, you go up to head to, um, uh, Berdea, and you head down to head to Windhaven. And we're going to Berdea, right? That is correct. Okay. If you uh, flip her tail. Left it is. Irritatedly. And <laughs> goes down the road. <sighs> well, it wasn't all that bad. Uh, Sila shakes her coin purse a bit as she puts it away. Ah, I scrolled way too far. Indeed, none of us. Indeed, none of us. None of us died. Says Nyorak, looking extremely beaten up. <laughs> nope, not this time. All right. Um, after you cross, uh, after you cross the river, which is what, um, after you cross the the river, which is on the path, uh, the land becomes very lush and green as you begin to enter into the um, the realm of souls. Uh, the forests give away to f um, farmlands and orchards um, that are ripe and uh, growing well. Uh, they contain barley, rye, and cabbage, which are currently in the midst of being harvested. Um, and the orchards are being harvested for their pears and apples. Interesting. Okay. As you as you approach the gates of uh, Berdea, um you see um two uh, um two squadrons of uh skeletons standing at attention outside the city gates uh each one um each one containing about uh 10 skeletons uh they're standing okay. marked at attention in in position um as you get closer you notice that there is a single human there uh, sitting on a stool uh watching all uh, watching everyone as they come and go hmm. well that's normal So did they did they say if like they called ahead to like let them know what, that we were coming or nope. not called ahead nope. but you know like sent a message or something but or is this a stealth mission basically is what I'm asking. We we were just sent on a mission to uh, retrieve the princess who ran away and to bring this uh, to Loki bring this boy into a chapel that that is in the city. Okay, How we fine. That so, is, is it us. super suspicious that he's on my shoulders then? Not really. 
<laughs> All right. Um, so let's let's just go in. We haven't done anything, and and if it's an undead city, this is probably just their town guard or something. So uh, you know just that walk in. He stops uh, by, the, by the gate house. The only thing that you know is, according to what the Lord told you, she is currently being held a uh, prisoner by um an elven archmage uh, by the name um Holminen. Holmen Ion. Hol- I'm going Prisoner. To, right. I'm going to put this in the in the chat. So Holminion. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that pronunciation. Holminion. Holminion. It's the whole minion. He's not half a minion. He's a whole minion. He's a whole minion. Why is he gotta be a whole and not a halfling? Holy! But because if he was, then he'd look like he was from a very bad animated movie. <laughs> it's a whole leg. It's still like the proportions of a half leg, but it's, but it's size class medium. Uh, like the dwarf from, uh, friggin', uh, yeah, oh, from Infinity yeah. War. Infinity War. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Anyway. Well, Lahira is just going to keep walking. All right. He is not. He's She's going to be, like, whistling a tune and, like, having having Toad maybe sing the tune along with her or something. Just be like, oh, we're on a trip and we're doing things and we're having fun. And, oh, look at all the stuff. And, oh, look at the Skellingtons. Aren't they funny? Durek <laughs> is bearing himself as a, yeah, with a soldierly demeanor, kind of, like, squaring up to the guards and... Present, I don't know, just more or less present, waiting to be inspected, I guess. Um, huh. um, Which approach is right. <laughs> he, he, the, the, the one human who is sitting there, uh, you guys arrive just before, uh, just before sunset. Um, just kind of doesn't even blink as, uh, as Lahira walks in. You just, as you stand there, he just kind of jerks his head. It's just like, head in. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll give a salute and walk in. Yeah, he just nods at you to go in. Uh, the city it ha- um it have it exhibits uh, wealth in the buildings, uh, and most people on the street are wearing actually pretty fine clothes. Uh, it's a much bigger city than uh, Greyfell, which you guys less. Uh, and while the pedestrians are mostly human, uh, there are also some orcs, half orcs, and you see the occasional elf. Um. Quite a few of the citizens are accompanied by uh, skeleton men at arms. Um, and in fact, you even see a dragonborn and two or three tieflings. Ooh. Uh, many of the businesses um, are just beginning to open up, and you see that they contain a sign that says "Open at Sunset." Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, this place. As sunset. I turn to the others. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to, I was just going to say, uh, I'm going to turn to the other and say, it looks like this, this city has a healthy nightlife. Doesn't seem all that bad. Uh, um, we should, we should inquire uh, where the chapel is. I'm going to let Joel continue with his. With his uh, description. Sorry. Oh, uh, so as you guys ask around to where the chapel is, uh, the sun sets and the city actually comes to life even more than it was. Um, as there are many who are sensitive to the sunlight who um, um, who um, come from Badira to do both business and, um, and uh, pleasure here. Uh, you actually see quite a large um, percentage um, drow. Um, as well as many other races who are better suited for living in the darkness. Uh, many elaborate carriages enter the mm, um, enter the city gates, and you see um, uh, they bring many pa- uh, very pale men and women wearing fine clothes, surrounded by um, entourages. Hmm. Lahira narrows her eyes at these slightly, but she doesn't say anything. Normal. So I like smile, grins slightly at these, but she doesn't say anything. <laughs> New York pays no heed. He's he's looking to complete <laughs> this, this half of the mission. <laughs> Caleb, whew, I'm yeah. not playing the vampire hunter in this campaign. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah. Oh, that does remind me. I did have some. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, you uh, you easily find directions to the uh, the temple of Um Chiatu. It is uh, part of an abbey that cares for orphans and foundlings. Uh, you are uh, when you arrive, you are addressed to uh, me- uh, Mother um, Simolia, who, uh, after you speak the Duchess's name, agrees to take the child. Uh, she greets him warmly, and when she asks him his name, uh, instead of saying Toad. Uh, he says that his name is uh, Lahiro. What? Lahiro? Oh. Lahiro? Oh my gosh, no. Is this Lahira hero's origin is like, story? Is this a child of the tiefling? He is not, uh, uh, okay. but he, he does uh, hug uh, Lahira goodbye before. Oh, Lahira t- he tries to keep back the tears and says, You be strong, okay? So sweet. <laughs> no, Haley. He, this is not just. This is not. This is not Hieronymus hero. This is La Hero. You know, he's 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 the Spanish version. Oh, <laughs> he's gosh, the knockoff no. Spanish version. Oh gosh! No, gosh, no. <laughs> uh... Hello, I have come to cast fire spells. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, could you tell me of this thing that they call liquid courage (laughs) oh my gosh no (laughs) I would require a bucket full of chickens chickens and anything but a bucket will not do So there. Okay, so. So for those so for happens. those those listening to this who are confused, Hero was the name of a character in one of our of our friend of ours in one of our older campaigns. It was great. Who was insane? Yes. The the friend or the character? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. Robin. I believe yes. your character's ability would actually allow you to stay at the Abbey for free. Yes. Um, it, it says it has a caveat, which is, um, hold on. Da, 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 shelter of the faithful. Uh, as an acolyte, you command the respect of those who share your faith and you can perform religious ceremonies of your deity. You and your companions can expect to receive free healing and care at a temple, shrine, or other established pl- presence of your faith, specifically. Ah. Uh. Cool. Uh, so you managed to find a, uh, a small uh, congregation to saloon, because a place that loves nightlife makes sense to me that they would have some sort of worship for the moon god. Yeah, makes sense to me. Uh, they are weirdly actually active at this time, but you can stay there for the night without any problem. Yes. Yay! And there are life things, so we should be able to get healing for free, too. Yes. Uh, also, uh, you guys take a long rest, so you just regain everything back. Oh, good. Yay! I feel so much better. Uh, all right. Uh, so, um, do you guys want to keep, um, going or do you want to end it there? Yeah, I'm good for a bit more. Yeah. Okay. Caleb? Okay. Quick Visits. preview. What about a quick preview? What was preview? that? Okay. He I says mean, going. Yeah, obviously I don't expect us to get through the whole thing, but a bit of a preview as to what we're going, uh, as to what we're doing next. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. All right. Um, so, um, uh, so uh, you, uh, Robin. Um, yes. Since you have connections here, you managed to get the lowdown on on this town. Um, it is oh, ro- sweet. it is rolled by uh, the Council of Five. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, they consist of uh, two living and three undead. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're... What sort of undead? Uh, I'm getting there. Um, you are told. Oh, okay. You are told uh, e- um, what each one of the five lords is like. Uh, there is uh, Lady um, Calpurnia. Uh, she um, she uh, 
she has been a member of the council for years, even before she was a ghost. Uh, oh. And uh, while uh, while a family member tried to murder her to take her place as matriarch of the family, the surprise was on them because she came back. <laughs> the person who tried to have her assassinated did not. Um, her family um, has owned land and business in the realm of souls for centuries. Uh, though, despite being a ghost, she's actually rather sweet and lighthearted, and she's known for being... Um, and she is loved by both her family and the citizens of the realm. Nice. Um, you find out that, um, yeah, you also, uh, you, um, you find out that, um, uh, Holdminium is, uh, is a lady. She is an elven archmage, uh, and she has studied, um, broad ranges of magic for centuries. Um, mm. You find out that she is now uh, taking on uh, um, a new tutor, who she usually has about four or five uh, underlings at a time. Um, and you manage to piece together from um, from asking questions that uh, you're pretty sure that it is um, Lady uh, K um, Kesia. Okay. Uh you also find out that her presence on the Council of Five helps to keep tempers in check, uh, and she inspires everyone on there to act uh, cooperatively and in the common best interest. Right. Uh, there is Lord Sharp, who is the newest member of the uh, of the Council. Uh, he is the largest landowner in the ro of the Realm of Souls. Um, he has more than a uh, and he has more than a thousand serfs on um, underneath his rule. Uh, he's known for uh, wearing silk and liking to adorn himself with gold and gems, and his hair is always perfect. I would like to meet this man. Um, there are there character. are there are rumors that a few weeks ago he uh, he um, uh, undertook uh, the transformation into uh, a vampire. Oh, my. Uh, Lord Stockwell is a lich. Well then, uh, he is the founder and the mastermind behind this community of the living and the undead, and as such, he also leads the council. Mm. Uh, he, the nation has been able to succeed because he's taken uh, advantage of um, the fact that uh, he also deals with many of uh, the races that uh, would be considered shun or undesirable, such as the drow, the orcs, and the tieflings. Mm. Um, and as such, he is in a monopoly with, uh, um, with, uh, them as well as the, uh, the Dungar and many of the sentient undead. Uh, the mindless, uh, and the mindless undead in the city are nothing usually more than servants, slaves, or obe or obedient servants trained for specific uses. Question about liches in general. Yes. Like... Like, usually when you come across them, they tend to be rather insane. Is that just a side effect of the people that initially underwent the transformation initially being insane? Or does that have to do with the transformation and the being alive for many, many, many years past what they were supposed to have been alive for? Why don't you go ahead and give me a religion check? I will do that. Um, let's see, we got 10. Uh, you would tend to think that, um, that it's more, uh, being a lich, uh, is not something that is undertaken easily. Uh, and with great, uh, while, while you have heard of there are sometimes liches who are gifted their lichdom. Uh, for specific first uh, purposes, usually it is a very selfish act, and it's more the people who kind of are willing to do that are insane, though not mm. always. Okay. Uh, finally, there is Lord Thackeray, uh, a retired paladin. Mm. Uh, he came from a modest family and joined the military where he rose uh, through the ranks. Um, after many years of service, he was granted uh, knighthood and... Um, 
uh, paid in the form of land holdings. Uh, he has a repetition of being the most honorable of all those on the council. Um, hmm. You are uh, you are told that uh, the easiest way to find um, Holminium, if you wish to seek her out, is to go to the council building after sunset. Hmm. It is the largest uh, building in the city, so it would be no problem for you to find... So is this whole minion, minion a member of ruling? Yes, she is. Council? Yep, she Not, is. Okay. She is one of the five. Okay. Um, do you think we could like see if we can hear like rumors about the Duke's? Daughter, it's a duke, right? Yes. Yeah, the duke's daughter being in the city for reasons. Uh, and for what reasons does the city think she's there? Sure. Um, you can ask around if you would like to give me persuasion. I can do that. Can I take persuasion? Can you guys? No. Can you guys help me? What are we doing? Um, I'm looking yeah, to hear, to um, maybe basically rumor mongering to see if I can find out, um, the daughter of the Duke's, um, location in the city or why the townspeople think she's here. Basically that sort of thing. Um, trying to... Is there anything that I can do with investigation? Oh, actually, yeah, investigation. Sorry, I forgot. That's actually more the skill that you would be Ooh, using for you this. You don't want me to do that. I have a four in investigation. Plus four. So we'll assist you, and then you can take yes. advantage. Remember, yeah. Kay? Yes, we will assist you. Okay, so shall I roll? Yes. Yep, sorry. Yeah, that is investigation. I forgot about investigation. Oh, 23. So then you have a 23. Um, uh, okay, with a 23. All right, uh, so with a 23... Uh, you find out a lot of things, actually. That's actually a really good roll. Uh, as I said, you, you, you do find out, um, that, um, um, uh, Lady Cassia has been, um, taken in as a student of, um, as, a, as an apprentice to Lady Holminian. Okay. So she wishes to become a spellcaster. Uh, yeah, you also, oh, with a 23, man, dude, with a 23, you, uh, you find out everything. Okay. Um, <laughs> you find out, uh, which is, this is not common knowledge. Like, this is just, like, as a rogue, you happen to know the people to talk to, like, who to buy drinks, who to do stuff with, like, mm -hmm. you, you get the connections and manage to get the inside scoop. So the first thing that you find out is that um, over a year ago, there was a secret marriage between Lady Cassia um, and Lord Sharp. <gasps> oh my. Now, which one was Lord Sharp? That's the vampire. It's the rich one. Oh, great. <sighs> you also find out that it is, with a 20, uh, be, you also find out that it is believed she is with child. Is she herself a vampire? She is not. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Hans, secret origin. <laughs> uh, just, <laughs> just, just as a reminder, uh, Lord Sharp only became a vampire uh, less than two months ago. Oh, yes, that's right. So I guess the and, question would be, how with child is she? Um, you you know that that she is very with child. Okay. So well, it, well beyond. Okay. Well beyond that, it would have if if she conceived it with Lord Sharp, it would have been before his um, siring. Okay. Well, my. What I think we should do is, I think we should request an audience with her and just tell her what's going on and ask her what she wants to do and if she wishes us to send a message back to her father 
because if she refuses, then that's 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 her decision, you know. Yes, it may be good also if we and she obtain has a, some she, sort of trinket if she does not wish to write her father, so that we can at least somewhat convince him that we murdered her, even if we don't. Uh, no, we're not doing that one. We're not no. Doing that. Fine. <laughs> the rogue's no. like, Chaotic let's... Good. Yeah. The rogue's let's like, pretend let's... pretend we murdered her! You're... Cleric and paladin! No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's typical. <laughs> but yes, we should find out what her feelings on this situation are. If... If she wishes to go back and take the title, then so be it. If she doesn't and she wishes to stay with her husband and raise her child here with him, which I honestly think would be the more prudent decision, then she should send a note back to, back to him explaining the situation and, and what she wishes to do, whether or not it displeases him. And then we're off the hook, basically. She's not undead, so there's not that situation at all. That's true. And honestly, I don't... Honestly, I think there's something fishy going on with the Duke. Yeah, I think. <laughs> what? You both are plague... So, yes, let... You both are plague bunnies. Buddies. What? I said, you're, you're both plague, plague buddies. buddies. You both have the plague. What? Since when? I'm saying, I'm making a joke, Robin, about how you are sick, and he is sick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we could either request an audience with Lord Sharp or with um, Kasima. It's, it's Kasima, right? Um... It is... Yeah, it's Casilla. Casilla, okay. Or or better yet, we could request an audience with the both of them to explain the situation. That would make sense. Well, I guess we could just request an audience with Casilla, and if Lord Sharp feels he needs to be part of the conversation, then sure. So do we know where we would go to request such a thing? Town hall? Yeah, you I go guess. to the town Let's hall go. after dock. All right. Well, it's it is currently day, so you can spend the city. Uh, you can spend the day shopping if you wish to pick up any uh, mundane equipment while you are in town. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, compendium. I mean, potions. Give me an investigation check to see what kind of potions you can find. I will do that. <laughs> you do not have to read that until after we're done. It pertains to the other campaign. Okay. I might see if I can pick up some, some armor, if at all possible. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's an there is an armorer, armorer. Is there like a list? Oh, it's probably in the the D and D and Beyond thing. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, Spending pals item official equipment. Here we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Heavy. Uh, um. Heavy armor. So chainmail is heavy armor. Let's see. Ooh, plate. No, ringmail is looks okay. Let me let me see. Do you have? I don't know. I have twenty some odd, so probably not. All right. So so Haley with the twenty four, um, you managed to actually find a uh, temporarily unattended potion of healing. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, and I stumbled across it. Yes, and then fell off a car. Accident. I could not catch up with the cart. It was a shame. 
right. Uh, you do find you do also find an apothecary, um, Ooh, cool. who is selling both. Um, um, Uh, so you find the ability to, uh, so any common potion you basically, um, uh, so you've managed to find a, um, you can get potions of healing, you can get potions of climbing, uh, and then you also could get, um, you find that he is also selling a potion of hill giant strength. Of what strength? Hill giant strength. Ooh, all of those sound good. Um, the potion of healing that I got earlier was it greater? No, it's just it's just a standard. It's just a standard. Why don't I, I see a right standard? Back. It's just it's just it's not standard. It just says potion of healing. Yeah, I see greater, superior, and supreme in the items list. Uh, it's just, it's just a healing potion. Yeah, weird. It just. Yeah. I, I'm enough. sorry, equip, in the equipment section of my character sheet is what I'm talking about, not the, uh, that's yeah, weird. Yeah, uh, one second, let me look on. Yeah, that's not it. Uh, equipment. There we go, potion of healing. Why it didn't come out before, I do not know. I don't know how much this would cost. Um, so you said uh, this um, guy has... Yeah, uh, once again, I'm looking at the prices for things. Oh, okay, uh, that would be good. Yes, so, where did I find this list that I liked that was very helpful? Uh, um, okay, so the healing potion. Uh, healing yes. potions are 50 GP. Okay. Um, and the potion of gl climbing is the same. Uh, the potion of hill giant strength um, is 120 GP. Oh my goodness. These potions are expensive. Yep. The potion of hill giant strength, you say? Yes. Hmm. Uh, it would give you... Well, not like I can get that anyway. Yeah. Unless um... you want to try and steal it. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Okay, uh, what kind of... Is this just a one-person shop or a stall? Uh, it is a one-person shop. I see. Okay. Okay. So um, it would it would anyone who drinks it it increases their strength to twenty one um, to twenty one, which is a plus five um, for an hour. That's what uh, that's what the potion does. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna be perusing this guy's shop. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna case the joint. Well, I was going to pretend that there was a rodent or something and scream and give a deception check and see if he bends over to, or looks so passes where I am next to the potion so that I can try to steal it with his back turned. Is what I want to do. Uh, okay. That's what you want to do. So but that if he does not... I'm not sure about All right, this. so make it make the deception check first to try and see if you can get him. Um, mm, so you, why is my character I, I, such a jerk? I will, I will, I will let you know what the. Okay, so, um, you will have to get at least a ten, uh, no, a twelve on the deception and a seventeen on a sleight of hand check to then steal it. I'm gonna pass this time. Okay. 
Because I really don't want to... I, I have higher goals in my sight. That's fine. I, I'm just letting you know what you could do. I'm going to... I am going to buy one, though. I'm going to buy a potion of healing. Just a normal potion of healing? Yes. And you said that is a... That is 50 GP. Okay, yeah. So I'll spend the 50 for that. Okay. Good business, good business. I'm slightly disappointed, but it's okay. Okay. And oh no, slightly disappointed that you can't do your legal activity. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, did anyone else buy anything or want to do uh, anything else? I don't want? think I have enough money for anything. Did we? Uh, yeah. Did we strike up a plan yet, uh, specifically, or did I... we just discuss some options? I think we're going to the town hall. Oh, when someone opinion. else says something, it's a definite plan. But when I strike it, I'm different. Yeah. In that case, while they were out shopping, Yorick would have gone to see if he could set up an if he had to set up an appointment or something. Ah, okay. Um, um, I have better persuasion, so it might be better if I did that. Uh, you uh, you go to the building. Shopping. And um, you I'll find you. you find that the building is closed. My persuasion's a four. My persuasion is hold on. The building. Give me a second. The building is closed. My persuasion is five. Okay. My persuasion is okay. zero. The. Oh, the building is closed, is it? The, the, <laughs> it doesn't open until dusk. Yeah, the building is closed. You see that there are hours listed. It is it is open that it only opens after dusk. Well, might as well hold our place in line. <sighs> <laughs> okay then. Lahira's gonna pout slightly and sit down next to you. So I was doing that while you guys were shopping. You weren't there with me. <laughs> I'm not shopping. I don't have enough money for anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you had gone to like at least scope out the armors. I imagined to see how much everything had cost. Well, I just looked at the prices for things and realized I don't have enough money to buy the armor that I have currently. So no. <laughs> uh, don't forget that uh, if you also want to sell that men the mundane things you got off the bandit, now is a good time oh, to do right. that. Oh, or the yes. scrolls that you have. Yeah, the scrolls. I'm yeah. going to go sell the scrolls. Yes, yeah, sell the scrolls. All right. Uh, you will You will need an investigation check to find somebody who wishes to buy scrolls because they you... are a rare, expensive item. Do you happen to stumble across me? Nope, because that's, that's what she's doing while you were searching for potions. It's true. She, we, we went in different directions. So I guess I'll find some kind of spellcaster shop or something. Yeah, so you you try and find something. So give me an investigation check to see if you can find someone to sell the scrolls. The Mundane Dane stuff you can sell no problem, but nope, you do not manage to, manage to oh. find anything that looks like a any sort of buyer. Okay. Fortunately, you didn't crit, which means that you have not uh, that you managed to at least do it competently enough that you do not open yourself up for uh, um. Uh, unscrupulous re -appro reclaiming of your items. Well, what, what mundane things did we have? Uh, so, stuff sells for half price and off of the bandits. Uh, you managed to get um, two sets of leather armor, um, two scimitars, uh, two light crossbows, um, and a quiver of bolts for each of the crossbows of 20 bolts. Okay, so I'm going to find some kind of armor or smith to see if I can sell some of this stuff. Yeah, the that stuff you have no problem finding someone to sell. Um, if you would like, you, um, if you would like to upgrade your armor as well, um, <laughs> it is possible that you could also give him, um, try a diplomacy check to try and agree on, hey, I will give you all this stuff, including my current armor, if you give me that better set of armor. 
I can try. Yeah, that would be persuasion, right? Yep. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Ooh. Uh, you talk him into a really good deal where you actually get more out of it than you thought. Um, Ooh. Um. Uh, as lo uh, along with uh, what what's the best art? What's the best armor you can wear? I think full plate. Let's go look that up. Clerics. What it's are their like fifteen hundred. What are their proficiencies? Well, I I have heavy armor proficiency because I'm oh. a life life cleric. Really, life clerics get heavy armor proficiency? Yes. Huh. That's why I'm wearing chainmail right now. Cool. Uh, let's see. What's the step up? What's step up from chainmail? I think splint. Uh, so the step up from chain, it would be, is, chain mail is splint, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, you managed to convince him to give you the split mail, uh, as well as, um, yeah. Uh, and since you, uh, you got, you critted that, so I didn't want to give you something special because you critted it. Um... I'm guessing I would sell my chainmail along with that, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying, is that it's a, you're yeah. like, here's all this stuff. Um, yeah, you managed to haggle him real good. He was not expecting you to be this good at haggling. Um, <laughs> what kind of weapon proficiency do you, do you have? Um, just all simple? I don't think I have anything special. It's just normal cleric proficiencies. Which is just simple stuff? Yeah, uh, I don't think I can get Light, medium, armor, me. shields, and simple weapons. Uh, all right. Uh, so um, he also gives you. Let's see. What's something? What are you currently? You currently using a mace? Yes. Um. Cool. Uh, he also throws in a spear. A spear. Okay. Well then. Just a regular old spear. Yep. Okay. C considering you were getting the better of that deal anyway, you really got the better of that deal. Yeah. Okay. So, chainmail. Get rid of that. Manage equipment. Uh... Inventory. I think you have better yeah. armor than the paladin oh. now. Oh dear. <laughs> yep. Until now. Split. Spear. Actions. Spears a what? S spears are one-handed weapons. Is that what you're freaking out about? No, I'm looking at the range. Is it you throw them? Yeah. You... Uh, okay. Okay. Whew. I thought it was just like you had reach with it. And I was like, what? No, no, no. Yeah, it, you can throw them up to twenty feet away or sixty feet with disadvantage. Uh, also, they are versatile. Oh, you can wield them. Which means if yeah, you, you wield can... wield them two handed, you deal you upgrade the damage dice from a d6 to a d8. So. <laughs> right. It is effectively, in except for the fact that it doesn't deal, it deals piercing instead of bludgeoning damage better than your mace. Hmm. So, you have choices now. Yes, I have options. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so after I'm all done with that, it's all, like, I'm gonna head over to where I think New York ended up. Hmm. You see him sitting sitting outside outside of uh, the city hall, making sure that he is the first in line. <laughs> I'll probably head over there too. No, Shiny. <laughs> He's like squatting outside the council. <laughs> well, I am standing there. Yeah. 
What do you think he is, a peasant? <laughs> well, I don't know. This man is a soldier. He had, he's had to do worse than just stand there for a day. Mm. Uh. This is nothing. Hmm. Well, that's shiny. Good quality. Isn't it? I would think so. Good. I head back as well. Ah, uh, cool. All right. So uh, eventually, nightfall comes. Um. Yeah. Uh, you guys are shown in. You are definitely the first in line. In fact, you guys are even there before the council shows up. No kidding. Uh, um, you are asked to uh, hand in your uh, your weapons uh, to be checked. Oh, but, but, That's to but be my shiny new spear! No, yeah, I had yeah. Uh, And you are shown into the council chamber. And you're told to wait. Okay. Um... And we wait. Did you did you ask to speak with someone in particular? C Cassia. Uh, she is not on the council, so. Her husband. Sharp. Okay. Either Lord Sharp or Holminian would be All right. best. Okay, so you mentioned those two names. Got it. Good, good. Um... Uh, the first person to enter um, is a middle-aged human. Uh, from his description, you recognize him as uh, being uh, Lord Thackeray. Uh, he gives you a curt nod as um, as he has papers in front of him as like, hey, yes, I see you're there. Hello. Uh, you're yeah. not here for me. Uh, eventually, mm. uh, a beautiful elf with uh, silver blonde hair and wearing robes comes in. Uh, she, mile she smiles at you as she sits. Uh, eventually, Agnes... Uh, asking you what business you have with her. And is this the part where we will be ending, considering, uh, what the... If, if you want to end here, that's a fine place to end it. Haley just asked if, uh, we could end before the meeting, so... Yeah, I started not feeling too well for, oh, okay. for whatever reason. That's fine. That's a good, that's a good place to end. By the way, Robin, I have, mm. I have been inspired by uh, your changing of name there. That's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Changing of name? Yeah. Look at, look, look she... at the characters in <laughs> Roll20. I saw she added a pronunciation guide, so I was like, ooh, I ah. want to do that just to see if I can. New York. It's like New York. All right. No, it's like New York. Cool. <laughs> uh... So I wanted to call attention to it, uh, but now it's gone because it's messing with my name and I go okay. CD. Uh, you guys get XP. Um, Ooh, yay. For getting the child safely to the place. Yay! I'm checking something. I'm checking something. Okay. Uh, you each get... Um, you each get 70 XP for... For, for successfully getting the child and delivering him. Yay! Another 255. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, good night. Good night. All right.